So shut up, sit down, get these black so-called leaders out of here. Bring in some real cats with some real knowledge. Yes, yes, this is what we're doing here. We, we really, we, this is really, really, this is really like nation building for real, for real. This is about unity. And I'm not talking about unity with everybody. I'm talking about unity amongst the conscious community. This is what we need. Unity amongst, I don't even like to use the word conscious. I'm the un unity amongst awareness, people that's aware. Because we are in, up from where we at in back in the east, you know, I know I'm out in California right now, but back in the east, we, 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 we you know, we locking those links. You know what I mean? It's like we bring in RBG, we got the fiber centers, we bring in everybody together. And I'm going to tell you, it's all going to full circle right back around to the Morris piece. Now, if we can get the Morris Science Temple involved, maybe that'll be another piece. You know what I mean? Let them stop talking about cats that's putting in real work this is real this is not scripted this is not no script i don't follow scripts this ain't none of this i don't i don't get down with that we get down with factology in the words of africa bambada we deal with factology that's about it so let's get more into this man again that was black dot my man black dot if you don't know who that brother is go check him out so what's up okay mr interview is <laughs> Okay, so I like the fact that you're calling for unity. Yeah. Unity in the conscious community or, you know, in all these different schools of thought. You're bringing all our people together because at the end of the day, we are all yeah, one. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we, you know, you got to look at John Henry Clark and never fought with Dr. Ben. Come on, we never went through those type of things. So, you know, why are we even, again, allowing this, this system to even do that? Well, we supposed to be more higher than that. Elevating on a higher level than that. My beef ain't up with none of these conscious community people, bro. My beef is with all these politicians, all these crooked behind attorneys, all these crooked behind judges. That's my beef with. That's why I have a beef with. And I challenge them any given day. And I know I keep saying that, but I hope one of them just say, yo, let's see what this dude is about. Let's see if he's for real. I want you to. You know, they're a little arrogant and cocky, too. So hopefully one of them will try to reach out to me. Just get at me. Google me. Severe Bay. Hit me up. <laughs> Okay. There are a lot of injustices being committed oh, yeah. against our people all the time yeah. in the legal system. Um, what are some of the things that you think we should be challenging in court? Well, first off, we, we, we need to, like I tell people in the first half, I was telling people, we need to invest in law dictionaries. Again, I'm going to say it slow. Invest in a law dictionary. You do not have to go to law school to have a law dictionary. You're supposed to know the law, and ignorance of the law is no excuse. So, I'm here to give you the law, you know, and if I, and again, it's going back to these attorneys. They say, well, this dude never went to law school. No, we taught you, Europeans. We taught them, people. We taught them the laws, and they just bastardized everything they have done. So, the things we should look into to find out, one, 
what kind of courtrooms are we in? There's two types of courtrooms. You got a legislative created court. You have a constitutional court. Now, for those that think that I'm BS, I'm going to read it for you in the law dictionary. This is from Black's Law Dictionary. I'm just going to read the two courts real quick. If I can find them, it's, uh, this, is the, this is actually <laughs> the legislative court. The legislative courts, it says, courts created by the legislators are not named or directed by the Constitution. I'm going to read that again. Courts created by the legislators, not named or described by the Constitution. That's the legislative courts. This is why people say this is a constitutional court. It can be, but it's not really constitutional. None of these courtrooms we in are in constitutional. So, again, take this back to your attorneys. Constitutional, it says constitutional courts. A court name or described expressly protected by the Constitution or recognized by the name in a definite description in the Constitution, but given no express protection there, what's this, thereby. Now these, this is in a law dictionary. The courtrooms that we in, I'm, you know, I'm sorry to put this out there to people, you know, I mean, to hurt your feelings, but none of them are constitutional courts at all. They all admiralty maritime courts. Pay attention to the gold friend's flag in every courtroom. Article 4 in the United States Code states nothing should be on the flag other than red, white, and blue. Look up admiralty maritime law or admiralty or admiralty. All these attorneys are, are military advisors. They're nothing but deal breakers. That's all they are. Deal breakers. Look for those little things like that. And, and, and let's start putting these puzzles together and start questioning these people. Okay. So you said there's a difference between the two courts, but what's the difference between them? I heard you read the definition, but what's the difference between them and which court should we actually be going to? Well, if we if you notice, they don't bring up constitutional law in these courtrooms. The constitutional courts are, have been shut down. This is why they say we'll hold you in contempt of court. Those who know what I'm talking about, they hold you in contempt if you have a um, bring a constitutional constitutional issues up in there. The only issue the Constitution they bring up in there is the 13th and 14th Amendment. This is why they never have you swear on the Constitution. They have you swear on a Bible. Now, when they take the oath of office, they say they hold the, they uphold the Constitution of the state and the United States. So the courtrooms that we're in are not really constitutional court. They are created by legislators for contracts issues. Contractional issues. This is why we are in military courts right now. And all attorneys are military advisors. Look up the military manual. It will tell you the history of all these things. So we're not in there. Everything that we're dealing with is with contracts. And right now, the people are property, especially the so-called black man. He's property. You have to read the Constitution. It talks about it can deal with their property, dispose of all these things. You have their property right now. No other questions? No other questions? No, let's just wrap it up. How many minutes we got there? Yo, this is gonna be kinda hot. This is a this is a this is a law class in itself. You know what I mean? Really, this is actually a law class. You're getting hip hop and you're getting a real in debt study. And everything that I'm seeing here, because you may have some dollars out there to say, what is this guy talking about? He's not for real, he's a fake, he's not for no, test my record. Eight, I've been eight years in the radio game, trust me, giving it to people. So don't take my word for it. I'm not a politician. I'm not looking for an office to run. I'm not in any of that. I work for the people. I don't carry these titles behind my name. None of these things. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Do the research. No, not one politician that you probably can name have ever sat up there and gave you these books and gave you these names on how to do the research on it. What they'll tell you is give me... $500 or $1,500 and then they get you to make a deal so we're going to do part 3 it's coming up, stay tuned with your man Sabir Bay we'll be right back